Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at colour schemes and Excel pie charts and how pie charts are actually formatted with colour and how you can apply your own colours. So we're going to start with this data here. I'm just going to select over my data and I'm going to make a 2D pie chart with insert and go across here to a 2D pie chart. Now Baked into Excel, as we're about to see in a minute, are six what are called accent colours. And they are six colours that are actually used in the chart. And they start here, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six. And once you run out of accent colours, then you have a problem. And the way that Microsoft saw fit to solve this problem was it then took the first of these colours and it gave you a darker version of it. And then if you had more items still, it would take the second of these colours and give you a darker version. Now if you create a pie chart in your version of Excel and do you see that these are lighter, then don't blame me. It's not that I'm wrong, it's that Microsoft changed the way it applied these colours. In the more recent versions of Excel, they go darker. In the earlier versions, they go lighter. So let's go and add another item here. So I'm adding vanilla slices. If you've ever been to Australia and New Zealand, you'll know what a vanilla slice is and how good they are. And so we're just proving the rule here is that we've added an extra element into our chart. And so this is the first color, second, third color, and here is a darker version of the third color. So if you want to create charts that look better than these colors, which are very, very intense, this is what you can do. We're going to select over our chart, we're going to the page layout option and you can choose an alternate theme because every one of these themes not only comes with different typefaces and other elements, but they also come with different colors. And so you can just highlight over these options here and just see what you would like to use. And you might find that you get a better selection of colors doing this. Now it's also possible to just hack into these colors, just change these colors. And you'll do that by going to the colors option here and you're going to customize colors. And here is our accent color one, two, three, four, five, six. So we could change those accent colors and knowing that we're going to go darker on the second round, then we may want to go fairly light for our first round. So I'm going to turn all of these colors into very light versions of themselves. Now, of course, I could completely change these colors if I wanted to. So let's go all the way to light colors here. And I'm just going to save this. So I'm going to name it and save it so that I can use it over and over again. So these are our muted colors. We're getting a better set of colors. Now you can continue to work on those. You'll find your colors here as muted colors. So these are going to be saved automatically with this worksheet. I've actually created a nicer set still. So I've got these colors and these were based on the mesh option. So went down here and chose this mesh option and then just changed down the colors to be a little bit lighter. So anytime that you want to understand how colors are actually applied to pie charts in Microsoft Excel, that's the rule. There are only six accent colors. You can't create more. And so you're going to be stuck with your six accent colors and then a darker version of each of them. Now, of course, once you've created a color scheme, you can set this up as a theme. So I go over here to themes and I'll go to save current theme because what my theme is, is actually the old office theme, but with different colors. So I'm just going to click on save current theme. You can see here that it's going to go into a themes option and I'll click save. And so anytime I can come into my themes option and I can browse for themes and that will take me to the file system where I can go and browse for the themes that I want to use. Of course, if you're finding it difficult to find those themes, just go and try and save the current theme. Now you're not actually going to save it, but you are going to right click up here and choose copy address as text and then click cancel. Now when you go to themes and try and browse for themes, you can paste in the text that you just copied and click open and that will take you to where your themes are stored. It can be a little bit difficult to remember exactly where that is. So we're just going to open our theme and then we can apply it to our pie chart. 
Now of course at any point if you have a look at your chart and determine that you want to change one of these colors it won't be built into the theme but you can change it by clicking on the segment that you want to change. You're going to right click and choose format data point and that will give you access to the data point options. I'm going to the fill color I can go and select my fill color and I could choose an alternate fill color for this particular slice but of course that's not going to be built into any theme colors because the way that the themes work is that this color is going to be applied to this segment of the chart by default in a darker version we've just changed it individually for this particular chart but again it's not going to be built into your theme if you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.